Today, we have to talk about um, illumination. So, we have here a sample problem. A 25 CD lamp is placed 10 feet from a screen. We have to find the distance of the the distance from the opposite side of the screen should a 35, 36 CD lamp be placed in order that the two sides of the screen may be equally illuminated. So basically, the problem tells us that E1 is equivalent to E2. Okay. To draw it, we have here Hmm, and a bulb and another bulb that should be equally illuminated. So if it is equally illuminated, so therefore we have a division of the distance and our distance 1. It should be equal, okay? Um, we all know that the formula for our illumination is equivalent to um, I over D squared cosine theta and also I D squared cosine theta. Um, we set our cosine as constant which is just, we turn this one into just one. Therefore, we will be obtaining our um, formula for this problem, which is I over D squared is equals to I over D squared. Okay? So, therefore, um, we, we are given the first, we are given the first I, which is 25 CD, and also first distance, which is 10 feet. We are given the second I, which is 36 CD. So we're looking for our D squared. So let's write our formula in simplified manner so that we could un understand. We have the illumination number 1 all over the distance number 1 squared. And then our I number 2. And then our distance 2 squared. Okay? So, at I1 is equivalent to 25 CD. We also have I2 which is equivalent to 36 CD. And we have our distance number 1 which is 10 feet. And then our distance number 2 is what is missing. So we have here 25 over mm, 10 squared is equivalent to 36 all over D2 squared. So we have here 25 D2 squared is equivalent to 36 10 squared all over 25 so we have d2 is equivalent to square root of 36 times 10 squared all over 25 so therefore we will obtain our value of d2 which is hmm. but you can just plug in solve shift solve okay we have here 25 over 10 squared, which is equals to mm, 36x mm, x squared. So, ship solve, we will obtain the value of x is equals to negative 12 and 12 but let's pick the positive number because there is no such thing as negative distance so therefore we have the d2 which is 12 foot and that would be our final answer okay also here the same problem we have 150 cd lamp 
as RI1, sufficient to read the book at the distance of 6 feet. And also, if the lamp depreciated to 75 CD, by how much closer, closer should the book be placed to be re read with the same illuminance? So the problem is the same. We have the equivalent E1 and E2. The formula for that is simply I over D squared cosine theta. I over D squared cosine theta. So this would be just 1 because we treat them as constant or simply just eliminate the cosine theta. So we have here a formula which is I1 D1 squared equivalent to I2 all over D2 squared. We are given the I1 which is equivalent to 150 CD, and then our I2, which is equivalent to 75 CD, and our distance number 1, which is equivalent to 6 feet, and our distance number 2 is missing. Okay, so let's plug in our known value. We have 150 all over... 6 squared is equivalent to 75 CD all over D squared. So let's not simplify. We can just simply plug it. We have here 150 all over 6 squared equivalent to 75 over alpha x squared so we have two values which is positive and negative 4.24 so as i said before there's no such thing as negative um there's no such thing as negative distance so we're getting the positive value which is 4.24 feet and that would be our final answer